Boxing, team number one in the corner to my left, from the Sons of Shaolin, and a total combined weight of 450 pounds, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, the Savage, and the Master of the Yow Shippo. Crockett, who you got your money on? Big time I, matchup. I have to put it on Doom Patrol, if only because Joey Janela is coming off a string of what, three matches in a 24 hour period? Including one of the most destructive matches, I, like I said before, I've ever seen in my life. Where I'm surprised he's even able to walk, let alone compete tonight. So I have to say Doom Patrol has the edge in this one. No athletic commission here in Massachusetts to check on Joey Janela, leaving up to the discretion of the wrestlers, which is probably a bad idea, but uh, in tune with the ethos of Beyond Wrestling. Yeah, I'd say it's a very bad idea, but Worcester gets a little crazy sometimes, so you have to throw all regard against the win. Yeah, certainly want to uh, thank everybody that joined us for yesterday's free broadcast of I Want It All. The replay already up on Powerbomb TV, so when you're done watching today's Abandanza broadcast, you can certainly check that out. Hopefully everybody signed up for Powerbomb TV using promo code BEYOND. Get a 20-day free trial. We'll get a kickback for that. If you're just checking out Beyond Wrestling for the first time, please tweet us using hashtag StreamBeyond. And you also have to remember, Penelope Ford took quite a beating at the hands of the Beaver Boys yesterday as well, so she's probably feeling it herself. Uh-oh, Dickinson. Uh Looking for the old side pocket. And Dickinson's Minnesota Fats impression finally goes through as the bad, bad boy is going to be feeling that for a long, long time. Oh my god, Penelope kicked right to the floor. And, and we also have to play into the factor here as I gather my bearings from seeing what just happened to Joey Sure, Janela, what, 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 tell me Crockett, what shall we consider here? We should consider that Doom Patrol were taken to the limit by American Strong yesterday as well, so while they did get tested and while they are beat up, I do believe Joey Janela took way more damage. I think that's probably a fair assessment. Again, we're into the Ace of Beyond Wrestling, he called the shots. Joey Janela signing up for two matches yesterday, both a singles match and a tag match. Of course, we saw the GCW World Champion, Nick Gage, victorious in a non-title match. He is going to be defending the Game Changer Wrestling title later on tonight against Ricky Shane Page in a 20,000 thumbtack match. And we just found out yesterday that Jonathan Gresham is going to be defending the Powerbomb TV Independent Wrestling Championship in a three-way elimination match, also including Hot Sauce Trace Williams and Martin Stone. But Beyond Wrestling didn't have any titles. Well, clearly they do. They have a couple. Speaking of titles, Doom Patrol, the current Evolve Tag Team Champions, look at a very precarious spot here as the bad boy follows up with the big boot, following another Penelope Ford cartwheel spear. Four of the wildest competitors in Beyond Wrestling. And we haven't even started yet. When Joey Jella, Janela has an idea, it usually doesn't end up well, but he's cut off there by the Dirty Daddy sporting the Zubaz today, so you know he's getting extra wild. Oh my god, how many pile drivers can Joey Janela continue to eat as Penelope Ford scaling to the top? Oh! And the diving Hurricane Rana taking down the Dirty Daddy on the floor, holding his head. He might have banged his skull on the hardwood floor here at Electric Haze. I don't know who got the worst of that, Penelope Ford or Chris Dickinson, but they're all about to get the worst of it as the Jockerman flies. Oh, Jockerman. Got to be careful taking out his own partner. That's how you make an impression here in this Beyond crowd. 
giving it and putting it all on the line like Jaka did there. Well, I mean, you want to talk about Beyond Wrestling stalwart Dickinson and Jaka right there from the very beginning, who are still running studio tapings in Elyria, Ohio. And I mean, just to follow their career over the past nine years since Beyond Wrestling first started, I mean, who's to say where they would be or with, wouldn't be without Beyond Wrestling? Well, they have gone quite a long distance in their careers. Like I mentioned, Evolve Tag Team Champions and two of the more popular competitors here in Beyond. Uh-oh, looking for Pazuzu Bomb. Oh no, instead, just driving him overhead instead of launching him. And the Jock Man having a little bit of trouble finding his footing. It cost him an extra second. Dickinson could not intercept Penelope Ford. Dickinson took his eye off the ball there. Probably even forgot that she was on the floor with all the damage that she took, but... Now Dickinson allowing Penelope to hit him, and I think he's surprised by how hard she ended up hitting him. Of course, Dickinson, Penelope, and Janela had their issues last month at Beyond Wrestling Spirit of 76 from the Chikara Wrestle Factory, a show you can definitely check out, Powerbomb TV. It was supposed to be Chris Dickinson one-on-one -on -one with Joey Janela, but with the relaxed rules, Penelope Ford interjecting herself and uh, a little bit of retribution out of the Dirty Daddy with the assist from his partner, Chaka. This match seems to be Groundhog Day in that Penelope Ford just keeps going down over and over and over again. But like Groundhog Day, she keeps getting back up. I always wonder what's on Joey Janela's mind and then I realize when I see him do things like this, I don't want to know. Joey Janela finding his footing, holding onto the ceiling beam here at Electric Cage. You gotta be kidding me. Just when I thought <laughs> I saw it all, that's a new one, even for Beyond Wrestling. And now, sure, why not? A chair. And I believe Chris Dickinson just said, Fonzie, that man. Is that what he said? Yes. Him. <laughs> Joey Janela. All right, man, lay down. Van Dickinator, <laughs> two counts. Come on, Joey. This guy just kills himself for the entertainment of the fans, and it's like, when is enough enough? Like, lay down, get your pay, try and heal up a little bit. I'm sure you probably got 10 bookings next weekend. But hey, that's why he's so popular. That's why people want him to come back, because he'll just keep going. And look at Penelope firing up. This match almost reminiscent of the match that Janelpe had with the Hit Squad last March in this very building. I Part of Pion Wrestling uh, still, Seven Years of Bad Luck. I am still feeling that spear she took from last March. Of course, you know that Joey Janela. Penelope Ford, uh-oh, miscommunication from the Doom Patrol. They're both gonna be scheduled for lit up in NOLA, as well as Dickinson and Jaka. They're gonna be facing the team of Thunder Rosa and Holodead. Tickets on sale now. Oh, Dickinson comes charging in, caught with a kick. Yeah. 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 Joey Janela. Uh-oh, this go. could spell the end of the Doom Patrol, Paul Crockett. Calling for it already, and if they hit this, it's over for the Dirty Daddy. Oh, Dirty Daddy stacked high. Turn inside oh, out. Oh, Janela should be the one going for the pin. Jaka knowing that it could have been over right then and there. And Jaka luckily gaining his bearings just in time to keep Doom Patrol in this one. Mirko Krokop type high kick by Dickinson and a rolling elbow fall up to four. Oh, savage. Wow. Oh, man. Just peppered him. You know, lucky he's not split. Only a two count. The ace of Beyond Wrestling, probably the best tag team in Beyond Wrestling. Penelope Ford more than holds her own as Janela was deposited on the floor, his head rebounding off the wooden paneling like a basketball. And now Dickinson, like he needs a weapon. Oh! And the Again, retro man strikes. Retribution from Penelope Ford interjecting herself in the singles contest between Chris Dickinson and Joey Janela. He's calling for the, right, the white Russian leg sweep. 
been demanding a beer, but is he taking too much time? Oh, the kendo stick across the throat. Dickinson and Jocka calling for the death trap. That's their combination choke slam. And hopefully Joey Janela can get up because otherwise this one's gonna be over very quickly. Oh, Penelope Ford going to the eyes. Joey Janela kicking Jocka in the head. Dickinson off the ropes. Oh, moves him down to the clothesline. Inside out Lariat, Matrix reversal. Oh no. Oh, look at the strength out of Chris Dickinson pulling her up by the trunks. Janela saving the bad, bad girl. And Penelope from behind, got him stacked up in the bridge. What a win for Janelope. What an upset. DC rather. Yeah. I think people know by now. But that has to be one of the bigger upsets I've seen in regards to Penelope scoring the win for the team. Man, I'll tell you what. Dickinson and Jocka, though, who knows how worse for where they were after the beatdown from the Amityville project following their match with Rory Kulak and Jay Freddy yesterday. They got beaten up with chairs as well. This ain't about you right now. She just beat me. A woman said that? Why? But, but, I was there the first time she walked to the wrestling school and decided I'm going to be a professional wrestler. And goddamn, she's become one hell of a professional Some good sportsmanship out of the Doom Patrol.